Hi everyone, welcome back to another vlog. Hope you all are keeping safe. Wishing you all a very happy Christmas. Have a nice one. In my today's video, I'll be sharing with you all our new air fryer from Kosori. We'll be making some yummy and healthy recipes using this air fryer. So stay tuned and watch this video till the end. You'll like it. Also, if you're watching my channel for the first time and if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure to hit that subscribe button and feel free to activate the bell icon at the bottom so that you won't miss out on my future uploads. Stay tuned. We actually wanted to buy an air fryer long back, but somehow it got delayed. Now Kosori has sent us in 4.7 litre air fryer and I'm really excited about it. So this is the parcel which I got. First we are going to unbox it, check out what all we have inside this box and later we'll start using it. Now the first item which is on the top is the thin metal plate. Metal plate or stand type of thing. You can actually uh, place it inside the tray and put whatever you want to on top of the stand or you can use it as a partition as well. And the next item is the air fryer itself. You don't have uh, many equipments actually. It's just the air fryer and the small tray. You'll be getting a book of 100 recipes which actually teaches you how to cook them using this particular air fryer like setting the temperatures and etc. And there's also a user manual coming along with this. Now before using it, make sure to remove all the plastic attached to this like the stickers on the top and even on the side base. So inside the box you actually have this air fryer with the, the stand and these two booklets, nothing more. The air fryer looks quite simple and sleek. The boxy design is quite attractive. It also has the LED touchscreen on top of it. If you look at the tray, it deceptively looks quite smaller, but actually the capacity is quite big. You can easily cook 2 kgs of meat and veggies inside this. And the other interesting feature about this is, it actually looks very small, so it occupies very less space on your kitchen worktop. But it's always good to connect it to the main power points, other than using the extensions and stuff. Now operating this air fryer is quite simple and easy. It's very user friendly. The LED display button on the top actually tells you a lot of information. You have the options like start button, preheat, shake and also if you are using a wedge you can go for the wedge option. For chicken and seafood you have different options. If you just go through the user manual, you'll understand the uh, structure of this particular Kosori air fryer. There's nothing much, you need to just pull and insert the tray in and out. And there are some manual functions on the top of this uh, air fryer which are displayed. So once it's connected to the power, you can use a uh, touch screen. So it's quite simple. And if you go through the recipes booklet and if you are interested in making some particular recipes which are quite common like the french fries, potato wedges, chicken and fish recipes, even cakes and muffins, you can bake them using this particular uh, air fryer. So it will show you uh, what temperature you need to set and for how many minutes you need to use. So for the first few days if you start using it, it will be very helpful. You will understand the technology. Now the first recipe which I made uh, using this air fryer was this potato garlic wedges. Nothing much, it's quite simple. I just chop the potatoes, add some paprika, salt uh, and freshly chopped garlic. Also adding one and a half tablespoons of olive oil to this. Now I cooked it at 195 degrees centigrade for 20 minutes. In between it will ask you to shake, you can press the shake button. Uh, also if you want you can just pull the tray out and flip over the potatoes so that you'll get golden brown potatoes on both the sides. Now maintenance of this particular tray also is quite simple. You can uh, wash it like any other bowl using the regular washing liquid and also you can wash it in your dishwasher. It's quite safe. Mm -hmm. 
Now the best thing which I liked about this air fryer is frying fish because uh, we love fish a lot and we regularly uh, have this fish in our house at least weekly once or twice. So what I normally do is I, fry, I used to fry it in the pan but whenever you fry it in the pan uh, you get those extra smokes inside the house and the entire house will be filled with that fish smell for which I had to open all the windows and uh, doors also for some time but in this air fryer the best thing is you just need to cook it at 70, 175 or uh, 180 degrees for 10 to 15 minutes on both the sides after flipping and you don't get that extra smoke and that smell inside the house it's everything is inside uh, and it's quite simple actually and look at the texture on the top you get that nice crispy golden brown texture uh, and as you cook you know even this uh, oil comes out from these uh, fish skin that happens with all the non-veg items so you can use very less soil and get some nice tasty non-veg items using this air fryer the next day we also tried some chicken drumsticks fry in this air fryer. Nothing much, marinated it for half an hour by applying some ginger garlic paste, paprika, salt and a little bit of garam masala. I added 1.5 tablespoons of olive oil to this and cooked it 190 degrees centigrade for 20 minutes. And after that uh, what I did is I pulled the tray out and flipped it over and cooked it again for another 5 minutes. Those yummy drumsticks which are crispy outside and well cooked inside are really ready. And I must tell you the taste was absolutely yummy. Now depending on your eating habits you can prepare both vegetarian and non-vegetarian items using this air fryer. Like uh, whenever I prepare this omelette or egg toast I like to add some vegetables into this like uh, if I have some avocados or potatoes, cabbage, whatever depending on uh, the availability I keep adding them. So these kind of mixed omelettes also you can make using this air fryer. They go very well with uh, bread and also rotis. So if you like adding some cheese on top of it, you can add cheese straight away and just bake it or fry it for 5 to 6 minutes. Even this zucchini and uh, other vegetables also, they get cooked and fried very fast. For most of these fried items, the best ingredients would be uh, some salt, paprika and uh, if you have onion powder or garlic powders at home, you can use them a little bit because the flavors come out really well. If you want to add, uh, you can straight away add some fresh garlic as well. Even the garlic once baked and fried, the smell will be really good. I also tried frying these asparagus, they were really yummy. Another popular fried vegetable in India is this bindi fry which is a lady's finger or okra. So normally it absorbs lot of oil you know when you deep fry it. But using this air fryer you get nice golden brown crispy uh, okra just in few minutes. And here comes my avocado toast, healthy and yummy without much oil and cheese on top of it. And this is zucchini, fried well in golden brown color looks fresh and yummy actually i feel even joe's and aryan can try this air fryer the operations are very simple and easy and check out these asparagus i just fried them in one tablespoon of olive oil and uh, just for few minutes five to six minutes because this is kind of like a juicy vegetable i didn't want it to like fry it for a long time and now look at this okra guys it's fried really well i think i kept it at 185 degrees centigrade for nearly 15 minutes and you got this nice golden brown texture this normally you get when you deep fry it in the oil here if you just touch and feel it there's no oil nothing just crispy, brown and very yummy. 
I also tried to bake some chocolate muffins using this air fryer because the technology everything is much similar to that of an oven only thing is the size is smaller because of which the items get cooked much faster it's the conventional type of heating uh, which takes place inside so the batter preparations everything is same what you normally do for the muffins for cakes normally it takes longer time so muffins because they are in smaller portions it takes half of the time so we just cooked it for 15 minutes at 145 degrees centigrade when i checked it after 15 minutes uh, they were perfectly cooked even inside and the taste everything was perfect and yummy i really like this air fryer and would definitely recommend others who are looking forward to buy one so this is all for today if you like watching this video, do give it a thumbs up on YouTube. Feel free to share it with your friends and family. And if you're new to this channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Stay safe, stay connected. See you in another vlog.